when we think about infrastructure, we often think about physical infrastructure you know, in our cities, you know, about roads, bridges and similar things. But today we need to more and more look also at the digital infrastructure. Digital, which means big data, which also means artificial intelligence in order to analyze the data, can really help us to use better what we already have and to transform the way we use our cities. So somehow, you know, my, my in a nutshell, I would say that today when we think about infrastructure, we need to think more about silicon than about asphalt or concrete. I don't think there's one solution fits all. You know, every context will require different solutions. For instance, we recently won a challenge called the Energy Challenge in the city of Helsinki, which is, uh, you know, in, in our case was based on developing a very large thermal battery in order to store thermal energy. Uh, but um, uh, so I think, you know, again, that was in, 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 a, in a cold climate. You might have different solutions in other parts of the world. I think the important thing is that we experiment more. The important thing is that we take the array of solutions we already have and we test them in cities. We need to move into a new way of trying out things that we've seen during the pandemic. You know, it's not about looking at the past as a guide, but doing more like trial and error, much more similar to how nature does, mutation and then see what it works. I think that can speed up innovation in our cities. Paradoxically, we could say that we got many, if not most of the technologies we need today in order to get to net zero carbon and to change our cities. Yes, you know, many new technologies will will appear over the next few years, but already we got a lot of them. And I think then what is most important really to bring people on board. You know, citizens should be informed, they should be part of the changes, they should decide which way to go. There's not only one solution, there's multiple ones. So ultimately, it's all of us as citizens to decide what type of city we want to live in.